but this should, should spread through homes, through schools. It should spread to the entire nation. For that, the nation has to make a beautiful, educative reform. They have to make a uh, integrated health policy. So, nation has to think about these things. All this is I have mentioned in this particular book actually, because these are the things that I envisage. But unfortunately, this. Mad world is after people who doesn't think about me. I, I have, I have uh, some. I mean, my, my thoughts are exactly in line, but they're very similar. I mean, first, um, when it comes to this type of, of work, I the way I look at it as there's a, a, a lock and a key phenomenon where the the person that melody, the music that they're attached to, that is the, that they are locked. But when you provide the music into their, their, their being, they, that unlocks them and they, they, they are free to, uh, ex to uh, uh, yeah, enjoy the music but also to engage, engage with, with someone. And with regard to what you were just saying as, a, uh, as, as more of a, a, a more macro uh, uh, social work uh, uh, reason for, for music, music uh, therapy, I've thought, so I, I came to uh, Los Angeles from Boston and I wanted to go to Los Angeles because that's where the, uh, the, the music yeah, business yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. That's where they make all the money, that's yeah. where they make, make the movies. And it was literally, literally, I had been there for six months on my way to becoming a, a, a music star and that's when I had my brain injury. But after that, I started working with the youth and I started doing uh, music therapy for myself. And I started to see how the music uh, business, where it had basically begun in the 1950s, took off in the 60s, 70s, and 80s, and to the point where it was uh, understood as this millions, billions dollars business. And yet, why is that? If you look at the history of time and of music, that is just a blip on the face of, of human history, whereas humans have been connected to music for thousands and thousands and thousands of years. So then what happened in the 1990s is that music stopped being as, uh, as uh, profitable a business, and it's since that time just gone down and down and down and down. And when I was young, I wanted to, to, to play popular music. And that's a wonderful thing when you're young because it's fun. And, but the idea of being able to make a living and also to create meaning in the world around you is almost impossible to do uh, as a professional musician except for, for rare instances or people that are so committed. And so I started to think that, well, maybe music is something that popular music is just a fad and it's going to go back to the spiritual reason for being. And as more, and as it does that, it's going to become more uh, represented in in the health field and in social work fields, and that's essentially what I see happening. And, and I really see with my work with with uh, persons with Alzheimer's that this is really important because in America, you uh, right now there are uh, 50 million people in the total world who have have some form of dementia. That number is expected to go up. It's supposed to double every 20 years. And that because, because people are not actually using their neuronal channels. Their neuronal channels, actually even Einstein has used only 15% of his neuronal channels. And became, so what would be the common man use? He is using only just an iota of the neuronal channels. All the others are kept shut. So when the memory is lost, even that small part is lost, nothing. Everything is gone. That is what is happening. So, a varied interest in varied, man, you know, nowadays people are not that deep into the knowledge. They just have a, something superficial and just, just live around. That is, why, that is why the neuronal channels doesn't open up. And music actually opens up even those closed ones. 
like, and I will just tell you, a familiar music we are giving to an old person. Something which he had been used to. Sometimes that music would have been heard in a particular situation or in a particular period of his life where there are beautiful memories. So when you give that music, all those old memories also flood into his brain so that those closed, you know, those good memories may be already closed by the difficulties in life. Now when this is just given, it opens up all the beautiful memories, then they smile, they become more communicative. This happens actually. So for that, to open up, we need a key, you know, that is it. Yeah. For that, best communication between, well, he is the younger generation, I am a very old generation, I am 70. He is 33. 33. So a 33-year-old and a 70-year-old may be having a lot of years of difference. But that years of difference can be caused by better communication. In that way, we have to get closer and closer to the younger generation, especially at least in your own home. So that they know what they need, what you like and all. Then doctors also will be able to help the music therapists will be able to help. In the, even the, that is not needed. Even the people in your own home will be able to help you. Know? That is the best thing to do. You know? Yes. And um, so the, the countries that have the, 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 the greatest amount of, of persons with with, with dementia are America, China, and then India. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to South South uh, Asia and the Pacific, that is the, the, the population that is overall the biggest amount, amount with dementia and is also the one that is growing the fastest. Mm -hmm. And finally, that is the, the, the area that has the least amount of money to spend. In America, we spend a lot of money uh, for Therapy that's because we we have the money and we can we can give it to you to have old homes and all no we do that's that's what yeah. I mean largely and whereas in India they don't have that much money so usually the care has to happen for for families at home so the my purpose for creating this this type of, of uh, uh, therapy. I mean, what I'm trying to do is create not just the therapy, but the protocol in which social work students can learn how to do this and then share it to their community and share it to the, 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 the caregivers. Because I, I look at uh, Alzheimer's, it's, 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 there's two, there's two uh, sufferers. There's the, the, the patient and then there's the family and in some ways the patients the, the family suffers worse yes. so if you can create a way that the family feels that they have an agency a, a way to unlock that key and it's not that it's not a magic it's not that difficult then they they suddenly have hope to feel that they can they otherwise they close themselves off from their community and they don't want to share their loved ones because um, there is now the talk of uh, dementia friendly communities which is the idea that uh, people in dementia shouldn't just be kept at home that they should be allowed to experience a life in their communities and that communities should be uh, train to understand that these these are people who have a difficulty that we don't understand but we can help them and it doesn't mean that they just have to to be in a home actually that is what I, I think what i am doing actually is after doing a basic preliminary work in all these fields clinical work what i have started is i am thinking about four things one thing is that the education Second, the research part. Third, the clinical part. Fourth, as a national policy, we have to implement all these things. So for that, we have to start from the top and also from the bottom. Both I am actually doing. But unfortunately, for two years, I am a little bit back because of my injury to my leg. I had an injury. So what I am doing now is I am using youngsters like this. Now, they are doing the work now. Actually, I have sent one girl to do a PhD in music therapy. So when she comes back with the PhD, I am planning 
to send her to such old age homes and start doing this because she has got hospital experience do you, with do you know of the alzheimers and related disorders society of india yeah I'm, i have worked with them i'm very very good uh in very good contact with uh doctor doctor Jacob Roy who was wow. the the founder of the of them and i believe exactly what you're saying with by starting the top and i think that that artsy is a is a group that would be i mean they're spread all mm -hmm. over the country and but yes i mean i think here we are very near by kottapuri there is one home they are running mm -hmm. yeah but there is one at tripunathara i went to tripunathara place adrish ah okay uh, there is one uh, there is a autism group also there is a alzheimers group but both i st i by by i was in amrita only i did all those things mm -hmm. now i am i have got all those plans how to do in this and all from them only from from them means from those patients yeah i went there regularly and had an experience with them and i had written down everything so after that i have done two or three books so that i can you know so so pass it on to next generation you cannot always <laughs> depend upon your yes this thing you have to write some books and give it so i have given some textbook like things so that if the nation cares they can <laughs> well what I, what i what i would suggest is that i i'm going to uh be talking to uh to uh dr roy and you know i mean of course you you know them but uh i my, my and I, i don't know him personally oh. but i know that uh, society in which they are functioning because i have gone to many of these alchemers homes and to to see the patients is what i i'm planning on doing i mean i i've been here 5 months and my plan when i go home is to uh pursue a doctorate but i want to maintain my 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 connection here and i've talked with uh with 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 dr roy and what i would really like to do i mean they have various programs that they are are working on but i would like to continue this development the, the work that i i have a name for it i call it musical reminiscence therapy that's name of my program so i call it uh, musical reminiscence therapy mrt uh, it is sounds like uh the close yet still showing bad effects on stuff well uh, uh, alzheimer's therapy they have already uh, reminiscence therapy where they try as much as possible to uh give people uh, pictures or yeah uh, take them to the environment where they they were when they were young and it has some effect i think uh i don't know to what degree but i believe i mean because of research that has been done in neurology i mean i've seen that uh i mean these are from a few different studies so there's an area in the hypo, uh the hippocampus the back part of the yeah. brain which mostly uh is which can tell uh uh spatial memories mm -hmm. so if if and it works as well for music so let's say you're you're 20 years old you can and you think of a song that that was very important to you and you can remember where it was you heard it you can remember who you were with you can remember uh almost the sound and the smell the temperature it's there's a lot of uh, other memory that you get when you listen to music so i think i think personally uh from a music therapy standpoint uh this might be a real uh sort of a an opening as a door for for the music therapy field to see how much uh music can actually do uh at, at in terms of a, a a a therapy i mean certain other areas uh music therapy works well but with this particular uh disease i think i think it is it, it works better than yeah. medication or anything else that that works and it also in terms of mood and helping helping the family Especially because you know this, this centers, 
you are also interested in comma people, no? Yeah. Those who have lost speech, aphasia people. Yeah. Because this spatial centers, the music centers, the speech centers, all are very, very near. When you remember something through your music, you also get back the speech related to that because the centers are very close by. Similarly, the spatial memory is the all the things associated with it. We call in our in Sanskrit. See, when you hear a music, you get all the related things to that. You call that not bhava, but we call it vibhava in Bharatamani's old treatise. Actually, these things were said even in the old Sanskrit texts. So, I, knowing those old Sanskrit texts and the modern medicine, both, I can come back. Actually, actually speaking, Bharatamani was very, very knowledgeable person knowing all these things, no? He, he knew that when you give a music, the vibhavas will come in. But vibhava means something which is related, all the memories related to that particular word or music or everything, whatever you give. So that's an interesting piece. So our body, our uh, this thing, this, the entire brain and the nervous system, our neuronal channels, all these have been subjected to thousands and thousands of years of observation by so many people in different continents and all their knowledge we are getting in this century, we have to utilize everything. That is what we are doing. Actually, as you said, the since it has got relation to the reminiscences, regional importance also is there, actually. That is the reason why we have to see. People say that there is no language for music. I agree that there is no language for music. but. If you are bringing music therapy into a region, regional music becomes important. No, because we are thinking about the bringing back of a memory in which the childhood memories are always related to the same language, same music that they have heard. So that is the, so practically speaking, for a doctor or for a clinician who is interested in the welfare of the patient, welfare of the society with which they are dealing with, Regionalism is there. But that regionalism should not stop there. That is where we have to be very careful. We have to com consider every region as a unique thing. So every regional music has to get a place in each region. So we are, in that way we are still global, we are still universal. But if I am giving, giving music to a Malayali patient, I would naturally, first preference will be always Malayala. But there is one thing very, very important in Malayali population, you know. They love all. Yeah, I, 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 heard, I heard 